Sunday. I hope you all have had a lovely week, whatever you've been up to. I really cannot wait to show you what we've been up to this week. It's big. on the B front. I've got my main man here. Hello. <laughs> In his B suit. Um, we don't have our B suits yet and we have no idea what we're doing. So Nikki has kindly said he would come and help us check on the bees. <laughs> if we can get the suit up. If we can get up. the zip on. We can't, I cannot even... I'm going to have to take off the suit and do the hat. <laughs> we've had our hives on our land. Well, they're actually Nikki and Antonio's hives. But we've had them on our land for about a month now. And after about half a week, the bees moved in. And we've kind of left them to do their own thing. Um, checking them now and then. And there's still activity down there. But we felt, well, Nikki felt that it was a good time to have a little check on them. See how they're doing. Um, put the bee suits on and have a little look. We might even move the bees to the newer hive because it's the older hive that they're attracted to um so by moving this um swarm into the newer hive hopefully we'll attract another swarm into the older hive if that makes any sense at all um but yeah i'm trying to absorb as much information from nikki um, as possible um and try and learn what we're doing right so we've come down to the bees we're just going to actually we have seen a few asiaticas around, which are the Asian hornets, which are not very kind to bees. So we're just going to check that they're in there. I might move away. Yeah, they have actually, there's, they have shut it. But I just can't hear anything or see anything, because usually they'd come flying out. Yeah. Um, but with the Asian hornet, they just, the Asian hornets are just so bad. We actually stood really far away, but I'm still really nervous. Um, but I believe what he's doing is moving the swarm from the old hive to the new hive. So we can try and attract a new swarm to the old hive because that's much more appealing for the bees is to be in the older hive because it's nice, smells of honey and it's, yeah, much more inviting. Fun. They're there. Are they? I'm going to see if I can do it without the smoker because I actually don't like using the smoker if they're not very... But can you see they've actually made their own Oh my natural... gosh, look at that! So guys, today was actually to put in new frames because I thought they would do the old frames but they've actually done the old star way and they've made their own frames of honey. Oh my gosh! So... Is that good? Well, it's natural. I'm just going to gently put this back on and shimmy the other bees in. Oh. See, now they're not very happy. These swarms. No, there's no bees inside here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change them over. Okay. what we're dealing with. I don't know if you can see there. So I want to keep that because they've made that themselves. So it's a little game, a little, little different game plan. Now I'm going to carefully lift these ones. And I'm going to put them exactly as they were but in this hive. Because they know that they slot together that way. And now I'm going to remove some of these ones which are empty. Because that doesn't have anything on it. Put that on the side. 
I'm going to lift up and I'm just mimicking everything that they've done in this hive to the new hive. And the reason I'm doing this is because they've always, all of our bees, so we lost all of our bees to the Asiaticas, all of our bees have always loved this old hive. <laughs> This is the main part. So I'm just going to really play with these. Oh no. That's what I didn't want to happen. So I'm just going to place that in the hive. Because I still have this other one. Okay. We're still on. We've got no guys there, no guys that side. So accidents happen, that is life, but I have replaced it in the hive, so that is in the hive. So now you can see they're all going into the new hive, which is exactly what we wanted because all the bees, like I said, have always loved the older hive. We wanted the new hive, so we want the old hive to now attract a new swarm. Accidents happen. It would have been ideal if I didn't drop that piece of honeycomb, or not drop, they didn't fall off because of gravity. But if there was two of us, we could have held it in the vertical position rather than me having to turn it over. Um, but that's just the way life goes. Kept the main bit on, collected all the bees. <coughs> Sorry, the smoke is blowing on me. Um, but they should be happy and now they'll all just go back in and they're quite docile because when I scooped them they're not coming after me now there's not one bee on me now so they are inside and the queen is in there so yeah in an ideal world wouldn't have happened but that's life One's gone onto the roof of the car. Wait, wait, I got, oh, I got a good idea, Mummy. Can you move? Oh, oh my goodness. It's there. Come on, come on, I'll show you. Can you see her? Ah. That one? Yep, that one. before we have got our friends coming throughout the summer but next week t minus seven days yeah that is a week <laughs> that's a week yeah we have got two families coming and we are super excited to have them here but we have obviously have the caravan at the moment that they can stay in we're in the bus but we're one accommodation short but fear not because what did we buy last year badger we bought some teepees oh yeah TP TP TP. They're a really cool company called My TP, and we bought two because who doesn't love TPs? Yeah, and what can encourage more people to come and stay with us than TP fun? Exactly, and also we thought it'd be a really cool kind of shaded space for the children in the summer. And um, anyway, so we have got 
one week to get one teepee up. Yeah. But first we need to cut down the poles. So today's mission is cut down the poles. Cut down the poles. Just to put it into perspective, we kind of bought some big teepees. So the poles have got, we need 18 poles and they need to be a minimum of 21 foot long, which... Yeah, that's really big. That's quite big. <laughs> challenge on. Challenge on. So that is our challenge. Let's get this teepee up. First, we need to cut down the poles and we're going to get the poles, well, the trees from our forest, which actually works really well because we have lots of trees that are cluster growing. So they're kind of growing, I don't know the technical term, but they're all growing out of kind of one area. So we need to thin it out as we got recommended. So it works really well. We get to thin it out. We get to use the timber for our teepee to poles and our friends get somewhere to sleep. So let's do it. So this is what I mean that all the trees are kind of growing out of one main spot. So our friend who is a tree surgeon recommended that we thin it out and that will make the main tree much stronger. You skin knees on the boulevard, raised up, learning the hard way, but your scars don't define you. Now your scars don't define you. All of it comes down to this one. Thing. So I think a lot of these cluster of trees have been pollarded in the past, which is like a, a way of forest management. Sometimes it's for uh, timber production. So if you pollard them every five years, you'll get a thicker, more sort of, um, you get bigger branches from where you cut them, and that way you get more timber. Um, or if you want to keep a desired tree to a certain height or width, you need to pollard it every year to keep it in that, in that shape. So hopefully, if we can learn to pollard this every five years properly, it should give us a very good timber production. <laughs> in the woods getting the trees and look what I found an old boot how cool is that I wonder who owned that one so as you saw we hadn't actually planned or we to, didn't know no. that the bees were going to make their well, you explain because I have well, no so idea. So basically, within three weeks, it has been three weeks, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they shouldn't have been as busy as they were. So when I opened up the hive, they shouldn't have been on the top board. They should have been busy in the frames, but they decided <laughs> they'd do it on the top board. So as I opened it, I was like, a uh, panic. Um, <laughs> didn't have anyone to hold the top board. So then, of course, lost a bit of top board as I put it down. No, lost a bit of, uh, what is it called? Hive. Hi no. Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Lost yeah. a bit of honeycomb. Um, so basically phoned my husband and said, ah, what shall I do? So he's given us a plan of action. I'm now going to smush it very gently. <laughs> I'm going to brush off the bees first. The technical term yeah, of smushing. Smush. <laughs> um, so place it into a frame on the bottom with a piece of string around, place it in the hive. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Can you say that on YouTube? <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, as you know, things don't always go to plan. But what I do quite like is that we've got a little rebellious hive. Yeah, literally, they're doing their own. They're doing their own mode. And yesterday, you said they're actually quite. I didn't realise that hives can have like a temperament. So yeah, you either get aggressive 100%. ones, depending on the queen, is it, or depending on the queen and depending on the variety of bee. But these ones are very nice, very so, yeah. calm. So hopefully they'll be happy just with as them. calm today yeah just as calm today so let's go and i need to replace 
the honeycomb onto these frames and I've got a piece of string I'm just going to pop the honeycomb in the corner and place it in and I've got two pieces so I've got two frames I've got my bee brush my hive core or a snow cup It's really weird because I'm picking it up. I've never actually picked up a piece of honeycomb with bees on it and you can feel like thousands of vibrations. Really? It's really eerie because I know I'm protected, yeah. but there's still that thing in your head that goes, oh my God, you need to get out. <laughs> they have been very busy. They've been very naughty, busy bees. I'm actually working over the hive because I don't want the queen to go anywhere apart from the hive. So I'm just going to brush the bees into there, nice and gently. And this brush is so gentle. I was actually just showing little Trixie how gentle it was. And she was like, oh, it's so soft. can see that. I don't know if you can see that. It's amazing. I think they're just the most amazing creatures. For me, probably in the world. Just like that. Can you see? So then they should then build around that because bees don't like any gaps. So they will literally build around that and then they will just fill that now. And I'm now going to fill this with frames. I'm going to use my hive tool, scrape off their busy work. Just check there's no little guys there. No. Come on. So you can see I have just replaced. So these ones are replaced. Now this is new. This is where they've got their honeycomb. They've got their honeycomb here. This is where they've taken part of the wax frame actually off the wax foundation and they've put their own. So I just left them to it there and then they're busy on all the way down here. So I think the queen is somewhere in this area because you can see where they're just all collecting. From what we've done today, it's been really successful because we've moved them. So you can see the darker hive, that is the old hive, which all honeys, all the honeybees love because I think it's got such a strong smell. You can see there, they are very busy on the new hive. So hopefully that has been so successful. You can just see them popping in and out there they will carry on making that their home. And then hopefully we'll add a third hive. Watch this space. It smells really nice. Ooh, yeah, honey so you might be able to get a piece of honey out of it. Because there was a piece when I... Let me just take this off. There's honey in here. Because I am swiddling. Wow, look at that. So, oh, oh, do you see? There it is. Try, try. Mm. Just try. Want to try? Mm. 
Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, you have to sweet, try this. sweet honey. Is our first try, or well, my first try, of honey. <laughs> oh, harvest. Oh, oh, like without sounding dramatic, that's incredible. I know. Wilfred's just Hi. come back from football. Maybe just lick it. You can Whoa. bite the whole thing. You can eat it. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Oh my god, that tastes amazing. Doesn't it? I can imagine in a jar with a piece of honeycomb. Oh my god. It's so cute. plan is that we're going to strap this end of the teepee poles to the car and then strap that end into a bundle and then one in the middle and we're going to try and drive them because it's such a long walk for 18. This is just half of them. We've got another 10 to go yet. Um, another nine even. So let's strap them up and see how we get on. Looks like the logs have gone a little bit wet. Muddy. They got really muddy here. When they went through the um, thing. Portuguese words of the week. <laughs> Hit me up. Okay, so this is how you say my name is. Yeah. Eu chamo me Betsy. Well done. And this is how you say, um, what's your name? Mm -hmm. Is, um, call me to Shamish. Well done. And this is, um, another word which is papagaio, parrot. Oh. Well done, amazing! <laughs> oh. so, Trixie is, how old are you Trixie? Four. Four years Four. old? Oh, you're not in focus. <laughs> and you go to nursery, don't you? Yeah. And Trixie came home the other day saying, Mummy, Mummy, I can sing a song. I was like, amazing! Anyway, let's just say I definitely cried. So, Trixie, do you want to sing us the song? Bom dia, bom dia, bom dia por a janta Eu hoje caminho à escola, por isso canto tanto Vamos cantar, vamos cantar peida A ida de aveiro, que guia surta E já minha ruta, cara é certa Juro que a neina, juro que a feida Cata a juta, que dança a crata Queixa fora, a guarida reça A pateta cor a ruta Do a bow, take a bow! <laughs> well done! Back in the barn, we've had a few wet days the rain has been here and it's kind of sunny today actually, but yeah, lots of showers. So it has slowed things down a little bit, but we've got most of the poles for the teepee in the barn and I'm about to strip all the bark off with this magical tool, which is just amazing. 
Um, so we're going to strip the bark off, sand them, and hopefully they'll be ready in time to get the teepee up for our friends arriving. stains your skin so it looks like I've had a really bad fake tan job <laughs> while I've been having a lovely old time stripping the bark off the trees listening to uh what was I listening to 90s oh, one hit wonders <laughs> having a great I didn't know the name of it having a great time <laughs> Badger's been wrestling trees in the forest and there's one he says he can't get out oh don't put it like that <laughs> You're not I'm strong. tired. I'm not the 21 year old I used to be. Badger's not strong enough, so he needs the big guns to come in and help him. <laughs> That's why I came and got the dog. <laughs> so let's go see if we can get it out. But first, a hydration stop. Straight from the spring. is a kiwi plant that is growing in the forest. We can't see any kiwis on it though. I don't know when the <coughs> kiwis start growing. I no, I there. don't. We need to pin it up really, don't we? Mm. Along with every other plant we have. Yeah. Anyway. There's another one in there. Yeah, they're everywhere. But are they all off the same one? Is that why we don't have kiwis? I don't know, because you need a male and a female, don't you? Yeah, you do need a male and female, but obviously how do you tell if this is male and or female? I don't know, so if anyone knows... Is there like a, can you sex a kiwi plant? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that is not okay. That's what you do. <laughs> Silly child. Madge is getting irritated with me because we've come down to get the tree log. But look! The apple tree has apples! Okay, for the size of the tree, it's probably got about five apples, but still. when you live basically in a forest. Um, now Badger's gonna get the car and drag the rest of the posts to the barn so we can carry on stripping. Your word or phrase this week? Uh, phrase. Phrase. Tell me your phrase of the week. Uh, bon fin de semana. 
What's that? Have a nice weekend. Oh yeah. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell. Woohoo! <laughs> that is about it for this week. We've got half the poles in the barn ready to be stripped. Half have already been done. Yeah. We need to grind down the knobbly bits and give them a sand. But yeah, we're super close. Nearly ready, nearly ready. And we can get the teepee up, which is going to be mega exciting. <laughs> Sorry, we're laughing because the previous video we did of this, <laughs> I make this face for no reason at all. <laughs> so... We've got half of the TP poles done, the rest are out of the woods and in the uh, barn ready for stripping. <clears throat> We're going to get the TP up on Saturday with some very special guests. Right down below, if you can guess who they are, but none of us have ever put a TP up before. Nope. Um, it's going to be fun. It's, it's going to be, be really hilarious. fun. Novices. So, <laughs> yeah, we are all very much novices. So please make sure you tune in next week and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Like, subscribe and hit the bell. Woo!